Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here again, and I just finished filming a video about my redo slash second first impression of the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. Excuse me, my nose is running. And it's a second first impression because I found a better color. I'm currently wearing the color All Chocolat, and I think it looks really, 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 really good with my skin. I think it's a perfect medium between the darkest parts of me and the lighter parts of me. Like my chest. <laughs> that I don't have. So yeah, now I'm going to shoot, record, shoot for you. Sorry, my nose and my brain are kind of all over. I'm like just now starting to really wake up. And that feels so lethargic because I've been feeling really, really lethargic as of late. I'm now going to shoot for you, record for you, a tutorial. By the way, I'm loving my brows today. I did more of a bolder, a little more boxier, thicker brow than what I normally do because I have naturally thin brows. But I really, really like the way they came out. And I'm going to be doing a dun, 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 smoky eye. I have a teacher induction ceremony I have to attend today. My parents are coming. I actually have to be there in like three hours, four hours. 10, 40, 11, 40, 12, 40, 1, 42. Four hours. Three, four. Three or four hours. So before then, I really wanted to record a few videos for you guys. I also haven't done a smoky eye in such a long time, nor have I made a video about it in a long time. So I thought it'd be fun for us to um, experience what's going to happen together, because I'm not even sure. I'm wearing a black and white rose dress, which I showed you guys in my online shopping haul. Let me pull it out for you real quick. It looks like this. And I wanted to do a smoky eye and either red or blue lips with it. I'm thinking red lips just because that's more, I guess, teacher appropriate. And I think my mom and dad are going to wear red so they can match me for our pictures that we take. But I really love this dress. Um, but I knew I wanted to do a smoky eye with it. And I'm just going to wear black shoes, probably not red shoes because it's raining. So I'm probably going to wear my little black boots that I got for him. Kmart that I have been wearing almost every single day that I need to clean but this is what they look like they're just a very simple plain ankle black boot that I love and they match everything so let's go ahead and get started with the smoky eyes as for the face I don't think I'm gonna do any even though this is a pretty flat look it's, it's very even and flawless I don't think I want to do any contouring, which is different for me because I pretty I love contouring. I do think I'm going to add some highlighter, glow it up a little bit, but keep it on the softer, more feminine side because I am going to do a smoky eye with a red lip. So let's go ahead and finish up the skin and the highlight I'm going to use is my Black Radiance Highlight in Ginger Snap. I really like this and I'm using a fluffy complexion brush from elf and what I do is I just coat the brush and highlight hopefully you can see that but I so it looks like it's really pretty I just coat the brush and then I tap it off on the edge of my computer when I'm recording and then I just dust it onto the cheek slightly and it looks like it really does look like I'm glowing from within because I'm using such a large fluffy brush to apply it. And for today, I'm really just going to focus it on, look how beautiful that highlight is. Like I'm really focusing it on the cheeks and I'm going to do the bridge of my nose, but in the, in my cupid's bow, but I'm not going to do the tip of my nose. Like I said, you just apply it all over that general area, that cheek bowl. You just, just glow it up. Or at least that's the look I'm going for. I've been really loving like glowy skin, especially when it's cold and rainy, which it is today. I don't know about cold, but it is definitely rainy. 
and um, I am going to throw on a little blush with this as well. So there you go, look at that highlight, yes! And we need to do the Cupid's bow. Which I love, the way my highlight Cupid's bow looks. You can see it does make a little subtle difference. And like I said, the bridge of the nose, but not the tip. Don't want the tip of my nose highlighted today. Just the bridge and right in between. You see that's nice and subtle right there. So that's how the skin looks now. It looks a little more youthful, a little more glowy. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of blush. Um, the blush I'm going to wear is also from Black Radiance, and it is the, oh, everything's just falling out of my basket. It is their blush, their Artist of Color Baked Blush and Toasted Almond, which is a YouTube beauty people's favorite. This is a very natural color, and it's just really pretty. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my cheeks. And I'm making sure to kind of blend it with the highlight, which is really pretty. But yeah, I love this blush and it's just nice, neutral, natural. blush for me to wear today. And by wearing blush it kind of helps me get like a natural kind of contour-ish kind of. I don't know if you see that how that works. I think it like makes it look like I contoured when I do highlighter and just blush and I don't feel like contouring. So I haven't really been wearing a lot of blush lately. Again applying it to this side. And you can see I'm like running the very edge of it right where I would contour so it makes a nice distinct kind of line. So, yeah. So we're adding a little bit more to the, the apples. Alright, so that's blush. We are done with the face. Now on to the eyes. This video is already eight minutes long. How did I do that in just eight minutes? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what I want to use to create this smoky eye. I know I want it to be... Let's use... I want it to be kind of a brownish, blackish smoky eye. So I don't want it to be super dark, but I definitely don't want it to be light. Um, I should have thought about these things before I started the video, but you know. Um, I'm like looking at my palettes like, what shall I use for this smoky eye? Alright. Let's go into... <laughs> dramatic pause. Let's go into the... Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette, which y'all know I love. And what we're going to do is take the color Morocco, which y'all know I love. And Morocco is going to be our transition color. We're going to put that in the crease. Actually, we're just going to kind of put it on the crease and onto the lid a little bit. I think there's still a little bit of deep plum on this brush because it's coming off a little purpley, which is okay, I guess. It's not what I wanted, but I should have looked to make sure that the brush was not tainted before I started. So 
I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and then wipe the brush off and apply some more Morocco. And I'm just applying this all into the crease. Ooh, look at my forehead creasing. Mm -mm. No me gusta. I don't remember my forehead creasing with this liquid foundation though. I remember when I tried out the black opal stick foundations, it did crease. But I don't remember it creasing with the liquid. Oh yeah, it's creasing pretty bad. You can see the lines. But I'll fix that later. Alright, so that's what we have so far. I'm wiping it off. And now I'm gonna take some more Morocco. And we're just going in with Morocco all into the crease. Moroccan around the Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas is way too close, like. Side note, tangent. My nose is running. All right. Once you've done that, take a brush that you can do your lower lash line with and take Morocco and apply that to the lower lash line as well. I'm applying it, I'm using the brush that came with the palette and I'm applying it not really neatly, like it's okay if it's kind of messy, but you do want it all over your bottom lash line. I love this color. I'm kind of applying it kind of heavily because we are going to put a little bit of black on the outermost edge. And this is kind of going to be our smoky bottom lash line is using Morocco. I may add a little bit of brown to it. I don't know yet. We'll see. We're just doing this playing it by ear, playing it by sight since I have to look to see the makeup. So right now you should kind of look kind of vampire-ish. Next, we are going to move on to the lid, and you're going to need a flat, dense brush. And I'm using this, ooh, this one is covered in purple and blue from the day I did my Aqualuna inspired makeup look for BAM, which I should have recorded because it's beautiful. But this is a e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and what I'm going to do is take the color Fudge from the palette and start to apply this to the lid. And so far, all the shadows that I have used have been matte. Matte shadows. I think I'm going to do a glossy red lip matte smoky eyes. And I'm literally just packing this onto the lid. This color fudge, which is a deep brown. kind of got it in the inner corner of my eye which is okay I'm just kind of wiping some of that away with my finger which is kind of making it messy so I'm going to take the brush that has some Morocco on it and kind of blend that out right there still applying fudge to the eyelid area all over the eyelid, stopping right in the crease. I'm kind of stopping right in the crease. And make sure you go all the way to the, your whole lid, from the inner to the outer corner of the lid. So that's what that kind of looks like. It's coming off kind of purple on camera, but I promise you it's not purple. <laughs> And we're gonna do the other side now. Fudging it up. 
You like my little puns? They're not good, but I'm kind of a fan of nerdy jokes. I'm kind of a nerdy person. And we're doing the exact same thing that I did on the other side. Stopping right in the crease. Or the socket of your eye. With this shadow, making sure to go from the inner part of the lid to the outer part of the lid. Getting the whole lid covered in fudge. You got the whole lid covered in fudge. Okay. Excuse me, this nose is just running, 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 running. All right. So this is what it should look like. Right now, now what you're going to do, with smoky eyes, it's a lot of blending. You're going to go back into Morocco and blend out the crease. So that the two transition together. You're just going to go and blend right over that crease. Blend the two shadows together so that they blend together. Nice and seamlessly. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start to get some black. Actually, no, I lied. We're going to take the other side of the brush and pick up some more fudge and kind of run that on the bottom lash line or on the water line. As close to the water line as you can. Take a little bit of fudge. and blend that in with the Morocco a little bit. This will help to deepen up the eyes. I am going for a pretty smoky, smoky eye. So take a little bit of fudge and apply that to your bottom water line. So that's how that looks. That's how the eyes look now. Ignoring the creasing in my forehead. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the other side, the fluffy side that has Morocco on it. And you just blended that in with your fudge. We're going to take Noor, which is a matte black, and we're going to add a little bit of black to this. And you want to be very careful with this step. So I'm really taking my time. And I'm starting on the outermost corner and kind of slowly working my way in. into the crease and onto the outer one-third of my lid. Hope you guys can see that. And this is going to add depth to the eye. And really give it that smokiness because it's black. But the black mixed with the brown and with Morocco is really, really, really nice. If you can see that. I'm really getting it in the crease. Like so, and it gives it more of like a cat eye effect too. Now we're going to do the same thing to this side. And I'm very carefully blending it into the outer one third of my eye and into the crease. If you feel like you put a little too much, which I do feel like there's a little bit too much, like on the outer part of my eye right here. Just go in and blend it back out with some Morocco. But I want to make sure that I get all the black that I want in here first. And I'm going like to halfway into the crease. I'm not going all the way. I'm going to wipe off some of the black and take some Morocco to blend out the edge. some over here, take some fudge, take some Morocco. And 
just adding a little bit more black to this side because this side got a little heavier. I just want them to be equally smoky. As you can see. They're kind of different shapes as well, which I find to be interesting. Different eye shapes. Taking my beauty blender to kind of cover up some of this excess shadow that I got where I don't want it to be to help give it more of a, what is this? Is there a foundation on here? Yeah, there was. I was like, what is this on my face? You see, I'm kind of giving it more of a cat eye to help to make the eyes more symmetrical in their smokiness. Liking it, liking it. I'm going to take a little bit more Morocco though to blend out this side. To blend out like the edges of the top of like the cat eye part of the shadow. All right. Excuse me, my nose. Now what I'm going to do is take Nora the Black and we are going to add that just to the outer one third of the bottom lash line. I'm using the same brush. Making sure that it connects to the upper lash line. I feel like that Beauty Blender had so much foundation on it that I kind of messed up my highlight and powder that I had already set, which makes me kind of sad. But I'll fix all that. This is mostly about the eyes. All right. So you can see I've kind of connected it on the corner to the upper lash line, making sure that there's no gaps and that there's only darkness on the corners of the eye. Last but not least, I would add mascara and I am going to do some eyeliner with it to add to the smokiness but first I feel like I need to fix my face oh I also need to highlight the brow bone so from this palette to highlight the brow bone what do I want to use do I want to do a matte or shimmery actually to highlight my inner corners and to highlight my brow bone I'm going to use the same highlighter that I used on my cheeks which I need to fix So this video is going to be way long, I don't want it to be, that's okay. So I'm just taking this black opal translucent oil blocking powder to kind of, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm messing it up, to go back under my eyes because I feel like when I added that foundation or when I tried to use a beauty blender to clean up the edges of the eyeshadow, it like re-moistened my under eyes, which I don't want because that can cause creasing, which we don't want. So I'm just going to powder there again. Also, because my forehead is creasing, creasing, excuse me, goodness gracious, I'm having issues. I'm going to pack some powder there to help get rid of the lines. It's really annoying. I'm kind of filling them in with powder. All right, now back to highlighter. Now that that is taken care of. You already know, it's this Black Radiance Ginger Snap. I thought this had a mirror on it, it doesn't. And I'm kind of just applying it quite generously. I'm not even using a mirror, I'm just looking at the computer screen to redo my cheeks again. Being sure to blend that into 
the blush, which I think the blush is still intact. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is take this BH Cosmetics 120, which is like a flat, a mini flat top brush, and I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. Goodness gracious, excuse all the sniffling. It's super duper pretty. You see how that looks? Yes, with the cheek and the brow bone being highlighted. And the light hits them at the same time. Yes. Ooh. I love it. And I'm just using this brush to blend it out as well. And blend it into the eye look. Into the smoky eyes. Which are I'm loving. Especially when I add the eyeliner and mascara and the lips. Yes, I'm excited. But I also need to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm using the same highlighter that I used on my face. And I'm going to use this Coastal Scents brush. Which is just like a super small, tiny brush. But it has turquoise on it that I used to highlight the inner corner because I was doing a Aqualuna space inspired, moon inspired makeup look to match the Marching Band show for last week. And so I'm using this to also highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Like so. Yeah, definitely a red lip. What is this? Littlebeebomb.com Alright. Really making sure to highlight the inner corner. My eyes, so I'm taking it also like right in that area. And last but not least, what I'm going to do on camera is the lips. I have these black opal um, um, goodness gracious samples, lip samples. And I think I'm going to try one of their color splurge patent lip samples. Or I'm going to try this red right here, which is called Dynamo, which I like that. Oh, it's like, um, it's packaged like cough drops or like, you know, so I can like take the one I want to try out. I love that. That's so smart. Good job, Black Opal. So I can just rip that color out. Love that. That's so smart. And yeah, I definitely want to wear the color Dynamo because it's red. And what is this supposed to do? I don't know, I'm guessing it's supposed to be shiny. I don't know, we're about to find out. And you can just like peel it open. This is so smart. Whoever thought of this idea? Like it's just like medicine, like Mucinex or something. Which I might need some of. Actually, you know, I probably shouldn't put this on because I'm not finished drinking my Dr. Pepper. So, we're going to end the smoky eyes here. I love the way that they came out. I hope you guys can see how they kind of taper to a point on the edges, but it's very subtle. It's not in your face. So, if you want to see the completed look, well, the picture, the icon, what is it called? The video image is going to be a completed look, but if you want to see the completed look, like, for longer than what the picture is of the YouTube video before you click to start it, check out my 
Instagram and more Snapchat. But I hope you enjoyed what I did so far and you got to see how I fixed some makeup issues that may happen while you're doing your makeup. Again, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. And I will have several more videos out this week. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye, YouTube.